hematomas in dogs. Many dog owners wonder what happens if a dog's aural hematoma is left untreated. If your dog has an aural hematoma, it could be that you do not feel comfortable putting your dog through the surgery, either because your dog is sick or old, or perhaps you cannot afford the surgery. It could also be that you are simply hoping for a home treatment for dog aural hematoma, or at least something you can do to reduce the swelling so your dog won't need to go under anesthesia. So what's the worst that can happen if your dog's aural hematoma is left untreated? The answer is that unless you own a show dog, the consequences aren't as bad as thought. And for those who have been wondering, no, left untreated, a dog's ear hematoma won't explode or implode in a horror movie fashion. To better understand what happens if your dog's aural hematoma is left untreated, it helps to take a little lesson in anatomy and what happens exactly when your dog's ear is affected by an aural hematoma. In a normal healthy ear, the ear flap is normally flat and smooth. The blood vessels are intact and are doing their normal job of supplying oxygen-rich blood to the ear. Problems start when the dog scratches and shakes his ear vigorously and perhaps ends up hitting his ear flaps against something hard, such as a wall, branch, or table leg. This vigorous shaking causes trauma that creates dead space between the cartilage, and soon a pocket of blood forms right between the skin and the cartilage of the ear. As the blood fills up the space, the dog's ear flap is no longer flat and smooth, but appears swollen like a small balloon. A dog's repeated head shaking is often seen when a dog has allergies or an ear infection. Dogs may also shake their ears vigorously when their ears are wet or there is some foreign item stuck in the ear. Treatment Options when it comes to aural hematomas in dogs, the faster treatment is sought, the better. There are several dog aural hematoma treatment options that may vary based on personal veterinarian technique, the amount of swelling, the age and health of the dog, and how long the hematoma has been present. A non-surgical treatment for dog aural hematoma, generally the smaller ones, consists of draining the fluid from the ear flap very carefully using a sterile syringe and a needle. Once the ear flap is drained, the dog is put on medications in hopes of preventing the ear from filling up with blood again. Unfortunately, since the skin and cartilage remain separated, the dog's ear flap has a tendency to fill up again and the ear may not look as great as before. Surgical intervention is another option. In this case, an incision or multiple incisions are made on the bottom of the flap and the pocket is emptied. A drain is often placed to prevent further fluid from accumulating. The skin is then stitched up in such a way so that the skin and cartilage heal together again, leaving no dead space. This prevents it from filling up again. Some vets prefer to use laser for the surgery. And then there is home treatment, in other words, not doing much about it. So what happens if my dog's ear hematoma is left untreated? Fortunately, dog ear hematomas are not very painful to dogs per se. However, the built-up pressure may feel uncomfortable to the dog. Imagine carrying the extra weight of a swollen ear. Left untreated, an ear hematoma may take quite a long time to heal, but it can heal on its own over the course of time, mostly months rather than weeks. Leaving a dog's ear hematoma to heal on its own does not pose any danger to your dog at all, points out veterinarian Dr. Christie. It's more of a cosmetic issue than a health one. At some point, the blood is gradually absorbed back by the body, but unfortunately, Mother Nature doesn't care much about looks. 
Often dogs are left with an unsightly looking ear that is often referred to as cauliflower ear. This deformity is due to the presence of granulation tissue and the contraction of the tissue as the ear crinkles back to normal proportions. For those considering leaving a dog's aural hematoma untreated, veterinarians may prescribe steroids to bring down the swelling and reduce the chances for excessive scarring to take place. A word of caution is needed though about preventing recurrence. If the underlying cause is not addressed, the dog's swelling ear flap is likely to swell up again. So part of your dog's ear flap treatment should also entail addressing those allergies and ear infections and preventing them from recurring. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.